Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris, where we've got this awkward war going on against the Dustican Unity. They've taken some territory up here, but they've split up their powerful fleet. I'm assuming I didn't see it leave, but there's only a couple of very weak fleets over here right now. I'm assuming it's coming back because we're threatening their capital. I'm assuming that's what's going on here. We also see a couple of very weak fleets up in Porabim. Now, our primary issue, and ignore these numbers, it needs to tick for that to update. These are the real numbers. Our primary issue is our war exhaustion is really up there. Now, that's to be expected, but we need to be prepared for a status quo piece. If we end up losing these, that's not a big deal. Like, really, all we lose there is a tiny amount of resources. I think, though, that a proper gain would be if we were to take this side of the wormhole. The question is, do we have a claim here? And we do. That's fantastic. We could also think about claiming tile to try to take back some of this territory. We'll see if we end up getting that. They could theoretically come around this way. But if they come and hit Mac with that 20k fleet, we're not going to hold and we're going to need to try to retreat. Emphasis on try, because I'm pretty sure they're faster than us. But if they hit there, that's probably a go signal for us to go through to this station and take this again. This 5.6k here. So that will be nice. I've gone through and gotten what resources we can. Already queued up some, some ship constructions at Tribano and at Haven Sky. So we've got what we can. There is this that I'd like to get with a construction ship, but that's fine for now. Let's check in over here. Yeah, those are all good to go. So I think that's our overall plan. We're not too concerned about taking these star bases back. If we get the opportunity, we'll take it. But for right now, the Celestite Sufi is returning back to Haven Sky to upgrade and repair. So that will be okay. Now, I do think that there was... Was there a, a technology that finished right at the end that I didn't put in? Or did I put it in? I may have put it in. We do actually have advanced combat computers, but we're building some ship designs right now. We'll we'll come back to that. Let's go ahead and tick forward for the time being. We're keeping an eye out for that 20k fleet. That appears to be their threat, is the 20k fleet. And really, we can deal with the 20k fleet. We just have to be in the right position for it. So the Topaz Safit is making its way up this way. The Bloodstone is being reinforced. This is where the majority of our reinforcements are flowing to. to the Dustican Unity is sending us a uh, insult. But the Slurpinor Synergetics want to establish an embassy, and we accept. Now, I don't know if I mentioned, but I did toss in a second... I did this off camera. I did toss in a second Improved Relations Envoy over here in the new Slurpinor Conate. Although, look at this. They're actually equivalent in technology to us and pathetic to our economic power. We're scaling. That's exactly what's happening here. We're scaling up and it's going quite well. We just need to survive over here. And there's this Conqueror fleet. Yes, I do think that we should choose which fleet here should respond to this. I mean... There is the Elgate option. From Trebano, we go through the Elgate, and then to Shukan. We have no idea what's in the L cluster. None. That's a bit concerning, for sure. We're almost done repairing here, and you can see we still need more re fleet reinforcements. That's to be expected. A station is under attack. Okay, we don't see their 20k fleet just yet. Yes, we want to extend our deal with the curators. That's vitally important right now. There's our economic mandate fulfilled. Excellent. And that's a 4K fleet. Ahoy there. Enemy ship They're heading this spotted. way. So I guess they split up their 20K fleet further. That's a 14K fleet. That's good. This is very good for us. Okay. So we're going to continue to hit there. That's fine. For right now, these guys are repaired. We're going to head over to Tile. And we want to enter orbit there. 
Excellent. We're keeping an eye on all of these fleets. This is all so far okay. Now, we are at 88%. They can enforce on us at any time. But we are taking Carenza back, I think. Yes, that's, that's what we're actively doing right now. And now we're heading up to Atlas. So we're not going to lose anything over here at this exact moment. That's wonderful. Now, we will potentially lose over here. The Celestite Sufi is still falling back. There's efficiencies of scale. That's excellent. We could grab repeatable admin tech, but that's not actually needed right now. We could also grab regenerative hull tissue. And I don't think repeatable tech is worth going for at this exact moment. None of this is amazingly good. And I think we're just going to go for hyper entertainment forums as a reroll because it's only three months. We are only 11 months away from jump drives and that's a huge deal. We're also only six months away from Titans. Also an absolutely enormous deal. Now we are lacking a building here on this world here. And what do we want to go for? I think we just go for an agriculture district. That'll be okay for now. So these guys, are they going to go to Holden? If they do, they die there. Are they going to go to Tile? If they do, they die there too. What's their plan? The They're just sitting. Is in our sights. Fire when ready. Excellent. So they're just sitting. <laughs> this is a bit of a concern to us. We can't really respond to it. Out of curiosity, they're minus 12 reasons from a status quo piece. Of course, they're not going to lose their capital because we don't have it claimed. And we also haven't invaded all of these, all, all of these locations up here. So that's all well and good. All we did was take their star base. All hands fire they're retreating. Okay. So we're going to attack Atlas here. We'll go ahead and take that back. Wait, where did we... Oh, Starbase up here. Right. Okay. So we've got that. Good to go. I think I'm going to try sending these guys through the L gate. What could possibly go wrong? 309 days to get there. Oh, and we have to science ship it. Yeah, we can't do that. Well, we could send this science ship. I'm not sure how reasonable that is. Oh, we're already constructing over here. Okay, sure. We'll build our mining stations, our research stations, come down and build that star base again. Okay, this bureaucratic center over here requires a job. We are pretty close on the Empire Sprawl. We're going to keep building admin offices for the time being. So these fleets up here are concerning. But they're not the end of the world. Research complete. I want to go attack this over here. And maybe even claim this system. Let's do it. Hyper entertainment forums have finished up. Fleet command limit is not really what we need, although it's okay. I think what we really could use right now is naval cap. But climate restoration will work too. That will allow us to terraform, not that Gaia world, but this tomb world. Excellent. So we're pivoting nicely here into a military style economy. I like it. This is going quite well. Okay, so they're heading out over this way. This is all fine for right now. They must have split up their 20k fleet into a bunch of little fleets. That's all I can imagine. That's now a 6k fleet there. So yeah, that's that must be what they've done. Cool. So the Celestite Sufit here is, I mean, it, it's preparing for upgrades and that's all well and good. It also is going to need some reinforcement. But for right now, we're going to send these guys over to Drismak. I probably should have gone from Zanbor to Drismak. But we're going to prepare for an attack over here. Now, we do only have the two fleets over here. And then, of course, we've got the Starite Sufit. I do want to check. Let's see. We don't really care about any of that right now. So we'll just want to be able to scroll between these really quickly. That's fine. The Diamond Sufit is still missing. It will be back in two months. Okay. So that's all well and good. So they're going to be 72 days over there. I absolutely do want to hit this. I'm assuming they have all of this claimed. That is absolutely the assumption. 
Let's see how realistic that is. But once the Diamond Sufi comes back, we've banked up a few alloys and we can start working on that. Yeah, we know that they have a bunch of fleets. That's fine for now. So the Diamond Safit is back now. They're actually back at Haven Sky. That's interesting. For now, we're just going to get them upgraded and repaired. We're also going to hit the Reinforce Fleet button. It's going to take a while, but we need to start moving somebody up over here. And to that end, we have a lot of ships here that are merging with the Diamond Safit. Okay, so we're going to deselect anybody who it, who has orders right now and anyone who doesn't have orders we are just going to merge together like so and we're going to send these guys up this way we have to respawn up here eventually and now's as good a time as any i mean this fleet is reasonably strong it can't really deal with all of these at the same time but that's not the plan the plan is for these guys to group up over at the wormhole right now. I don't want to go through the wormhole just yet. We're going to hop up over there, and we're going to go hit over this way. Now, we've already hit here, and we're going to push up this direction. We see a lot of fleets hitting over here. We want to get their attention. See if we can get them to pull back. That's the idea right now. So we've got 24 days here until we're ready to go there. And yeah, these guys, they need to move up here, for sure. We need to deal with this. In the meantime, of course, the Diamond and Celestite Sufit. Honestly, I think I'm going to merge them together. They're preparing for upgrades. I'm just going to tell them to do that and then prepare for upgrades. Okay. That'll do. Excellent. We do need engineering research. We did just finish up. What did we finish here? Uh, Titans. Right. We don't have the resources to do that right now. There's those Mirin Ravage Ravagers hitting over here. We may be able to hold that. We'll see. Okay, so battleship build speed and cost is pretty good. But I think that we need to be working through some of this stuff down here. Uh, the cheapest here is Advanced Afterburners, and we'll go for that for now. So, we knew that these guys were on their way. The real question is, do we hold this? It's a definite maybe. We're doing a lot of damage to them, for sure. I think we do win that, actually. I think we hold. So that's probably great. And these guys should be ready to attack by now. Uh, we don't care about the guys that are merging with them. None of this is important. Well, it's important. But we want these guys to go right on through. And we're going to hit this. We win that, of course. We're 93% war exhaustion. These guys are definitely dying here. But there's still a lot of them. We're focusing primarily on this cruiser, and it's not going to last long. Yeah, it's, it's about to go. I think. <laughs> now, this is interesting. The Destican Unity is offering peace. They have a 5k fleet hitting here. I suspect they'll win that. We can make our way back over. It'll take a while to get there, but that's fine for right now. Okay. So they're offering us peace. The question is, are we interested in losing all of this? Hang on. They would actually only take Strom, Aludra, and Shukan. We would get... The wormholes, the wormhole base, tile, and Kakonin. This is kind of an uneven trade for them.
fascinating. We get the strategically important station here. And we get these two that have pretty good production. We lose these three. Eludra has okay production. Some of these others, not so much. They're not making further claims over here. This is fascinating. This over here, they still have quite a lot of raiders. And that cruiser is actually still up, but not for long. Okay. Jump tribes just finished. Subspace sensors, sure. I feel like strategically this is a victory for us, as is. It can be a bigger victory. Our only issue right now is that we're at 94%. Relative Navy strength plus 32. They have overwhelming tech. We still don't know what their fleet power is like, but we actually have a stronger fleet than they do, apparently. I mean, we know that they took a lot of losses attacking our stations, and we've actually had quite a number of successful fleet actions against them. And I guess they're having trouble replenishing those. Interesting. Do we want to stop here with this war? I'm, I'm strongly considering it. I think that we... I, I think that this is a victory for us. Like, if we keep fighting, I feel like we fall a little behind because of this situation up here that we can't really respond to effectively at this exact moment. But we gain this station here, which is hugely strategically important. Plus these two over here, so we go even on system numbers. It's really a remarkable peace deal, isn't it? Huh. I think we do it. And the only reason that I'm saying that we do this right now is because we're on very much a clock. We're at 94% war exhaustion. And I think that we just need to settle this. And this is, we, we could get a better trade if the war exhaustion was more even, right? But we weren't expecting this war. And we'll get that territory back. But we, we are taking as good as we're giving. In fact, better. This is a better strategic position for us than this over here. For one thing, this closes one of our borders with the Space Elf League. And we only have to worry about a station in Bartiam, and we can even have a defense in depth at Sabtrok. I think I've talked myself into it. Let's do it. They're considering. In the meantime, we're going to keep an eye on this. However, we can see that they're not going to win. The Raider fleet, our station is going to hold. I'm pretty sure. Give them a Status quo peace with the Dustican unity. They need time to recuperate. They've agreed to end our conflict here. Beautiful. We are immediately going to dismantle everything in this station. This then goes to gun, missile, missile, gun, missile, missile. And target uplink computer, communications jammer, and disruption field generator. Excellent. So we're at peace. These guys can actually return back for upgrades. We also need to start upgrading in Bartiam. That's very important. I'm also going to start an upgrade in Sabtrock, I think. Actually, no. Our Starbase cap is 17 of 18. We'll hold that as is. We're going to go ahead and colonize Hotram once again. And we're also going to go ahead and colonize Sugalia once again. We destroyed the raiding fleet without even responding to it. I love it. We did, however, end up losing some amount of 
defense platforms here. So that's something to consider. We want to send a science ship, and this is actually the closest one, to go research these debris. We also want to go research debris here, as well as debris here, and debris over this way. So we'll go research all that debris. That will give us a nice leg up in our tech. So that's beautiful. We'll get that underway. And honestly, I think that this was a victory over the Dystekin Unity. We're in a better position than we were. So that's great. Climate restoration has finished. We are at this point going to go for heritage sites, mostly as a reroll here. Get that out of the way. Advanced afterburners are going to be finishing up in one month. And we're going to pull these guys back to the Trabano station because we're going to need to do some upgrades and additional constructions soon enough. The Diamond Safit is over here. We need to think about, okay, advanced afterburners is fine. Let's go ahead and go for, a lot of these are going to get progress from these researches. I actually think that we're going to go for basic strike craft that will allow us to get hangar bays. That'll be good. Okay, so the Dostekin are still going to be upset at us. There's no doubt about it. But they are involved in the war against the Nebrites. Now, we're not. We're not paying any attention to the war against the Nebrites, and it would appear that the Nebrites are losing this war. We're okay with this. The Starite Sufit is going to pull back to Tile for now. Do we want these stations here? That's a good question. I think for now the answer is yes, but there's our subspace sensors done, and we can really focus in here on getting our ships up to snuff, so that's great. Maximize productivity. Let's go ahead and do it. We've got carrier operations finishing up momentarily, and now we do care about our star bases, although not necessarily our shipyards. I'll go ahead and expand that. This tech world here requires a job and we can't can we put in research labs not yet so for now we're just going to put in a city district that will do basic strike craft finishing up there excellent mining station output wouldn't be the worst but we don't really care that much about minerals so i think what we're going to go for here is battleship hull points now do we have any battleships maybe i did th I, I thought i saw some get queued up but uh yeah, there are a couple of battleships that have finished. They didn't see battle, but that's okay. So the Diamond Sufit here, let's take a look at that fleet composition. Yeah, there are no battleships here. Uh, we've got corvettes, destroyers, cruisers, and battleships. We're going to need to definitely get these ready to go. Our naval cap isn't quite where it needs to be, and we need to add in a Titan as well, but there's not enough command limit to do that at this exact moment. Okay, uh, we should definitely back off our destroyers here, I think. Well, no, we should be at 13. We could even go to like 14. We actually do need fleet, fleet command limit to build titans, but we are capped at two titans right now. So that's definitely something to think about. Now we can finish off prosperity. We'll definitely do that. And that gives us another ascension perk. We could work on a Colossus. A planet flutter? That could be cool, actually. I don't know if there's such a thing available. Endgame crisis factions. I mean, we have to be considering that. Endgame crisis is going to pop up pretty soon. That's just starbase cap. We are relying quite a lot on our starbases as our defenders. Eternal vigilance might not be a terrible idea. Let's do it. We still have four Ascension perks, so we should have plenty of time. Fantastic. This bureaucratic center here requires a job, and so, of course, we're going to put in an admin office. Our Empire Sprawl is get, is actually doing quite well. Like, we're having no issues there whatsoever. This is an industrial world, and so we'll build an industrial district there, obviously. And this bureaucratic center requires a planetary capital. Sounds good. This agri world does have an admin office. Okay, the Slurpenor, sure. That's fine. 
It does have an admin office here. We don't need additional admin offices. And the question becomes, what do we want here? When we don't have anything that we need here on non-science generating worlds, I usually default to wanting to go for alloys. And I think we'll put in an industrial district. I would love to see a Ministry of Production. We haven't had that happen yet, but hopefully we will soon. The Starry Sufit is over here repairing. That's all well and good. The new Slurpinor Khanate wants to establish an embassy. We have actually eclipsed them. And they're only wary of us right now. So cool. They wait we'll allow it. With us. These guys want an embassy too. We'll allow it. That's fine. That'll give us information on a lot of stuff over this way. So we can see that like this star hegemony over here, they're only superior to us in tech. The Distigan Unity is still overwhelming to us in tech, although we've been able to handle them. That's a Tempest Chill. Fascinating. So nobody's dealt with the L cluster yet. The Topaz Safit is getting up there in terms of strength. And we do have upgrades that we can do. We do still have a colony ship being constructed here. We don't care about the colony ship. Because Defensive Pact. Um We're gonna decline that. And we're going to hop into here. Not here. We're going to hop into here. We want to do a couple of upgrades to our ships. We want to go to jump drives. We want to go to subspace sensors. And we want to go to advanced combat computers. That's all something that we want. We don't have level 5 shields, but we can put advanced afterburners in here. Maxing us out at 90% evasion. That's wonderful. For our destroyers, we might want to refit this at some point. But I think that's okay. We're going to run zero point reactors, jump drives, and subspace sensors. And we're going to run advanced combat computers, hyper shields. And we don't need a reactor booster here. We're going to put in an auxiliary fire control. For our cruisers, we're going to run jump drives. We're going to run subspace sensors, advanced combat computers. And we're, of course, going to upgrade to hyper shields. We no longer need reactor boosters, and so we're going to put in auxiliary fire control. Cool. Battleships. Jump drives. Subspace sensors. We're already on advanced. We don't need to auto-upgrade this. And this will do for now. We're not super okay with this necessarily, but it'll do for now. And then our titans. We've got the perdition beam, and this is what we're running right now. Let's just run equal amounts gauss cannons jump drives and artillery we're running offensive or we're running shield dampeners i would actually like to run the nanobot cloud i tend to prefer that so we have auto repair there we go and i just like to have these in straight lines no reason but there we go do we need advanced afterburners on this thing honestly i don't think so we're gonna run fire control instead Cool. So that'll do. And there we go. It is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, I think we're going to start thinking seriously about taking over the Elgate. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And I will see you all next time.